Hey there, uh, Keegan here, just making this video for people that are just starting the game. I've made something kind of similar to this. I'm just going to give you tips on how to make, like, a competitive team as quick as possible so you don't have to be playing on rookie. So the first thing you want to do is identify which collections you can do for the cheapest. You remember, I posted this in another video as well, if the legend is worse, uh, it's worse than these other players. You don't actually need to collect them to get the collections. So when I started, I didn't really know that. So you'll be able to see as we go along. I locked some players in that I shouldn't have. But if you can just get these guys as quick as possible, some of them, it's you know, it'll be like five, six, seven thousand to get the legend. Kenny Lofton was important for me. He was my center fielder for. You know, quite a long time in this game. I like his speed. So, like, this collection is one of the first ones I'd start with. I'd do the Blue Jays that I just showed you. Save the harder ones uh, for a while. Don't do this one. Glenn Perkins is pretty expensive. Um, this one, probably t one of your top priorities. Rod Carew, it says first base on there, but it actually shows him as a second baseman with his second position as first base. You know, he was my second baseman until today, actually, I replaced him. It was like the last two months, basically. He was one of the first guys I tried to get at that time. Pujols was a bit cheaper. Now he's about 4,000. These guys are all pretty cheap. So try and get Carew pretty quick, same with Lofton. Um, accurately, he has a, I believe, a fastball change up and slider. He's all right. You know, it's, you know, I got him pretty early. Not really needed. Edgar Martinez, I, you know, skip him. Nolan Ryan, you know, it's expensive to get Darvish and Beltre, so unless you get one of them in a pack, don't worry about it. Even though Nolan Ryan is a beast in this game, I'll just let it go. The same with this one, don't bother doing this one. This guy, can't even pronounce his name, He's selling for 7,000. Altuve selling, you know, so 15,000 for that one. Not really worth it unless you have more than enough stubs. Phil Necro is a knuckleball thrower, so, you know, try and get him if you can. Freeman's 1,000, Miller's 2,500. Yeah, even then, it's going to cost 10000 so... Unless you get Simmons in a pack, which I did, you know, just leave it for now. This one, again, this is needs to be one of your top priorities. None of these guys are any good. Um, so try and get them. You don't need to get these three. So, these guys here, yeah, it'll probably cost you 1000 maybe 2000 to do this whole pack. And you have your start and left fielder for the next quite a while. Uh, skip this one. Uh, Mets, you know, do do this one. One of the last ones. Harvey's pretty expensive. Mike Schmidt, you know, if, if you get Cliff Lee in a pack, then it's worthwhile. If not, it's not really worth thirty thousand, especially unless you have got most of them done. Ernie Banks, I thought, I feel as if he's one of the best players in this game. I was hitting like 350, 375 average with him. He's pretty quick, 60, so he's, you know, not too bad. Fielding's all right. Power's decent. Contact's all right. So try and get Banks if you can. In this case, though, only if you get Lester in a pack. He sold him for 11. I sold him for 16, like two days ago. Um... For when it comes to catcher, you basically can get Johnny Bench or Yogi Berra. I went Bench. I do have Yogi Berra now. But this one's too expensive. Just use your creative players, your catcher, until you got like half these collections done. Um, this one... If you need a shortstop, you don't have anybody that's good, you can do this collection. Ryan Braun's pretty cheap. You know, 3000 4000 Depending what you bid, Lucro's pretty cheap, you know, 500. So you probably do this whole thing for under 5,000. You got a 88 shortstop. 
or you put him in the outfield if you need to, third base, second base, whatever you have to do. Yeah, skip this one, McCutcheon sells for about 50,000, 50, 40,000, 60,000 depending on what packs. Uh, Kiner, he is a beast, so I mean if you can get him, go for it, but if not, you know, it's it's expensive to do that one. Cardinals, you can get Banks, don't worry about Ozzy Smith, he's more of just a, a defender here. So, you know, if you need a good second baseman or shortstop, go ahead and throw him in there. If not, don't waste your time. Arizona, this guy, you know, Steve Finley. Maybe do this one if you, if you really need, like, an 80-plus guy the first few days, I guess, when you start off with all commons and bronzes. 85 is really good to you, so... Go ahead and do that. These guys probably cost you a thousand, fifteen hundred to do the whole collection. Yeah. Because you could bid like five on each of these cards. You know, this one you bid for thirty-seven. So, I mean, if you just start, then do that one. Kind of the same thing with this one. Uh, right field, left field. So, he's going to be any of the outfield spots for you. This one as well, as long as you are patient, don't do buy nows and just put it one more in the cell now. Could do this one very quickly. Uh, this was like the second last one I did. The last team I did was the Yankees because uh, everything, all the cards are just so expensive. So I did this one second last. I got Kershaw today, so. Yeah, I didn't get, he's not locked in. Anyways, uh, Hershire, he's decent, but it's not really worth it for you. Padres, if you need a closer, you know, maybe it's worth it for you to do. I wouldn't. You know, Justin Upton's 4,000, Shields 3,000, Kimbrough's like 14, 15. When it comes to, this is top three and ones that I would make sure I do. Will Clark, he's a beast. Hitting. You know, probably 375. I'd actually have to check in game, but I even use his swing as my my pers my uh, creative player. That's so you know how much I like him in this game. I'm not a Giants fan by any means. It's just he's very good in this game. All you need to get is basically Hunter Pence and get him for 4,000. This one would be a bit more to get. Probably cost you six, seven thousand, but. You got your first baseman for quite a while. Um, I don't know if I talked about Robinson, but you know he's all right, third baseman. Basically a defensive player, though. If you're really into making a good defensive team, maybe go for him. And yeah. uh, Ted Williams, Pedroy is expensive. Like I said, well Yogi Bear, this is the last collection I did. Uh, yeah, Blue Jays, very easy to get that one done. White Sox isn't too bad. McDowell's a decent pitcher. Yeah, Kenny Lofton. So yeah, so just uh, try and do as many of the Legends collections as you can. Get as many Legends as you can. Because that's just basically what you do. You get the plus 5% earnings. It all helps, right? So hope this helps you guys that are just starting, you know the all-star break now so you got some catching up to do take care guys